Hello there, welcome back. This is from my friend in the Isle of Man, Slurpy Dave. Thank you very much, Dave. And this is from Ockles Brewery, an Isle of Man brewery, and it's called 1907. So just after five past seven at night. Eh? <laughs> It's a pale beer, it says. I think it's an IPA. I'll put that in. Uh, based on uh, brewed to the Manx purity laws, I'll put that uh, in to the description. Crafted to the highest standards and unique, uniquely independent. It's 6.1% ABV. What's well, a limited edition? This limited edition Ockel's 1907 beer has been produced to commemorate the 100 year celebration of the tourist trophy in the Isle of Man, the TT. It's a, an annual motorbike festival race. I've never been, but I quite fancy going. Anyway, let's crack it open and see what it's like. Plain red crown. Got my shaker glass, pint glass. Okie doke. I didn't get much ahead there. That's a sort of a knob head pour in reverse. So there's like a film on the surface. White. It's got, it's a, it's a bit hazy, a wee bit cloudy. There's some medium rising bubbles. So there is some carbonation there. There's no way I'm going to get a swirl on that, is there? No. We'll do the light test. It's a sort of a toffee colour, I call that. Uh, it's a pale amber. But I call it toffee coloured. So let's get a wee nose on it. I'm getting more malt than hops. I'm not getting much hops at all. I'm getting a lovely bready malt. I'm not smelling the alcohol at all. Anyway, cheers, my dears. That's very good. But it's quite gassy. There's a bit of gas locked up in that. That's how not to swirl it when you've got too much in the glass. And that's why beer mats come in handy <laughs> if you're a slayster like me I don't think it is an IPA it's, it says pale beer, it is a pale beer it's, you know what it's like, it's more like a bitter an English bitter that's what it tastes like to me there is a wee bit of bitterness there's a bit of maltiness I'm not picking up much hops at all there might be the slightest bit of citrus, I don't know, maybe that's in my mind. There is a sort of a wee bit grassy bitterness there. That's what makes me think it's more like a bitter than that. I've not, I've not got a great deal of experience with English bitters. It's a very nice beer. Well, we'll have a look on the website, see what it says. Okay, so this is from ockles.co.uk 1907 We brewed our 1907 ale to celebrate the centenary of the world famous Isle of Man TT motorcycle races That was 2007 In 2008 everybody wanted to know where our 1907 beer was So we kept on brewing it After all, if beer tastes this good You might as well carry on celebrating I 100% agree. Tasting notes. 1907 has aromas of tropical fruit, mainly mango and pineapple. You know, there's a hint of pineapple now that they've brought it to my attention. I didn't taste it though. It's dark golden colour with smooth malt and fruit on the palate. A hint of sweetness leading to a dry, hoppy after palate. Hint of fruit on the palate. It's 
It's more a malty sweetness. And there is a wee hoppy after after palate as they call it. It's a lovely beer. Light to, to medium bodied. It is quite carbonated. I'm surprised I couldn't get a head on it. I don't think it's bottle conditioned. Yeah, that's put a, a foamy white tight bubbles. Is it bottle conditioned? Does it say? Anyway, this is an absolute cracker. I could drink, well, 6.1, I was going to say I could drink a few of these. I probably couldn't. No, no ma'am. Too much of a lightweight nowadays. But it's a beautiful beer. Thanks very much, Dave. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Big thumbs up.